Hey guys, it's me, Teresa Craft to Mama ML. I've missed you guys so much. It feels like I haven't um, done a video in so long. A lot of you know if you're on Facebook um, that I recently just moved, so my life has been consumed with moving and packing and unpacking and cleaning, and Masson just started grade three. So it's been, you know, back into routine and stuff. But now my life is back to normal. The hecticness is all gone. So I'm super excited to be back doing videos and scrapbooking and crafting. Um, so thank you everyone for all your support on Facebook. Everyone was saying like, I hope the move went well. Um, I've had a lot of people wish me a happy birthday, which was yesterday. So thank you so much for that. That meant a lot to me. Um, yesterday I got two scrapbook. We had, um, my friend Carrie was over. We had a couple drinks and we just scrapbooked and we did some crafts. One of the crafts that I did was, um, I'll have to show it in another video because it's already upstairs drying. Um, I took the, when Michael's had those, um, blocked letters, they were like red, pink, purple, blue, like those bright, bright colors. I ended up painting them with paint and then chalk paint on top and I distressed them. Um, so I did that last night to put on my fireplace mantle. And then I also did a couple layouts. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this is the one layout I did and it is of Madison and Leah. So I used... Well, obviously my white cardstock, but the pink is from the cut and paste line. And I love the texture of the cardstock because it almost has like a feeling to it. And I love the ombre, ombre look. It goes like dark pink and then all the way up to the light. Um, all the papers that I used were from that collection, the cut and paste line. So we have the, um, the clouds. And then on that paper, I ended up just cutting two of the clouds out by hand. And then this one's pop dotted, but I don't know if you can tell. And then, of course, my gold sequins. And... Um, these were some of the new Polaroid frames that I got from that yard sale. And I just cut the picture to go to fit inside. This is a cork sticker from the Studio Calico cork stickers that I got. Um, this was, I don't know where this um, 4x6 card came from, but it was in like a bundle bag from that yard sale that I bought out of. And I thought it matched perfectly. And then I used some thickers. And, of course, I had to use some of the new Heidi Swap um, gold foil. So I used the hello on the bottom of this cloud and then the arrow. So it's super, super simple but cute. I love how it turned out. I didn't know if I should put anything up there, but I think it just looks good, nice and simple. Sorry about my nails. I haven't painted them yet. <laughs> I should have. Sorry. Um, and then this is my second layout. Again, of my gorgeous kids. This was a recent picture. We went to the park and they were sitting on the bench. So I just asked if I could take their picture and it turned out super cute. So Madison just turned eight and Leah is now three. I can't believe it. So this paper pack, where did this come from? A lot of this came from the, um, what was that called? Came from the, this one. Cartabella, what's it called though? I think it's called, oh, Cartabella Hello Again. Sorry. So it came from that paper collection and that's the one that I got as well from that yard sale. So I started using all my new things because I hadn't, after that yard sale, that's when I started packing. So I didn't have the chance to even use any of my new stuff. So it's just a simple eight and a half by 11 layout. Um, the triangles and some of the gold sequins well they're not even sequins they're like chipboard pieces that came from the Heidi Swap gold foil one same with the stars and then I just added a few sequins and then my October afternoon stickers for the sisters and I just put 2014 and all that paper came from that pack as well and same with this little tag and it says what does it say you and I are more than just friends we're sisters. <laughs> so super simple. But it was so good. You guys have no idea. It felt so good to craft again. It was like I was having withdrawals. But I had already packed everything. So it's not like I could have. Um, it's not like I could have unpacked it and crafted. You know what I mean? Like I was like telling my husband. I'm like oh why did I. Like why did I pack everything up so early. But I had to. Because we had such a big house that we had to pack up. But now I'm back and um, I'll have more videos to come. And if you haven't checked out, I also did a room tour of my new room. So please go check it out. Thanks, guys. Bye.